The important thing for me to remember when I'm doing a hem is to make sure that my seam allowances at the hem are pointing the same direction as I want them at the crotch seam or at the out seam. I like all my seams to head to the back. It minimizes chafing for me. And then because my hem is going to be sewing, showing on the outside, I like to construct it on the outside, but that's difficult to get all the pants in. So I usually work on the from the inside out. So I'm going to be sewing inside the hole so that I can control what that seam looks like on the outside of the pant. And I'm going to be using the fold as my guide. I've pressed it so that it will work. And I'm just doing a little double fold hem. Top stitch traditional jean hem. And you could do a blind hem if you wanted. You can do contrasting color. You can do the same as the color of your pants. Um, for these pants, I'm sewing everything in a contrasting color. And the reason I'm doing that is so that you can see where all the stitches are as the video and as a student, but also on my examples and also see what the consequences of doing a contrasting color choice is, even though you may be very good at what you're doing. Um, the contrasting color is going to show everything and every flaw and every mistake and every wobble. So I do it on purpose, knowing that my stitching is not going to look perfect because it's very difficult to get it perfect, especially in half scale. So if you want two rows of stitching, you could do two rows of stitching down here. I don't like two rows of stitching on my hem, so I'm going to choose not to. But then once I turn this leg inside out, I will have a very traditional double fold hem at the bottom of these pants. Just like that. 